Do you need a college degree to succeed? It's a simple question. What's your opinion? Let me know down in the comments, guys. Now, a little bit about me. I have a four-year degree from Cornell College in Mount Vernon, Iowa. I have a two-year MBA from the University of Texas, and I've had success in life. I'm very fortunate. But did I have success because of my college education or would I have had success even if I hadn't gone to university? And that's the thing, is I look at all the research out there and they, oftentimes the smartest and the brightest people do go on to university because we're in a society that pressures them to go. But as more and more people are coming out and the value of having a degree, in my opinion, is going down and down, the question needs to be asked, is it a prerequisite for success? Is it something that everyone needs to have a college degree? In this video, guys, I'm gonna talk about five reasons why I think college is overrated for many people. Now, I know some of you guys are gonna say, Antonio, for my profession, I'm a doctor, I'm a lawyer, I'm an engineer, I need to have a college degree, I need to have advanced studies, and in that case, yes, of course, go down that path. But I've got a friend, he works in construction, and he went to the same school as me and did going to a liberal arts school help make him a better construction worker. I, I would have to argue, I'm not sure, because he's got a lot of student loan debt, which 20 years later, he's still paying off. The number one reason I think college is overrated is there's no guarantee that they are gonna teach you how to think. When I see a college degree, someone comes and applies to work at my company, all I see is that that person for four years was able to attend class and regurgitate something back to a professor. That does not mean that they are smarter, that they have developed skills in order to be able to think. Now, there are some schools out there that do a great job of doing this. And I highly recommend if you've got a school like that, congratulations, make sure to invest in that school. But if you're going to a place where there's 500 students in a room and you're being taught by a TA who is just regurgitating something and you can't even hear him, and I mean, is this gonna develop in you a lifelong desire to continue learning? The people that have success have the ability to think, they can have problem-solving skills, and they are lifelong learners. They've got a desire, they've got a burning fire within them to constantly improve themselves and to learn more every single day. Point number two, student loans and opportunity cost. Now, I know many of you guys over in Europe, you're gonna say, oh, well, my university's free. Well, if you really think that, understand, somebody is paying for it. You're paying for it in your taxes. That money is coming from somewhere. But even if it is absolutely free, there is the opportunity cost. And if you're just going in there and you're thinking that this time isn't valuable, that you know I don't have any better place to be, you may wanna look at your other options out there. You could be traveling the world. You could be out there doing an internship. You could be doing you know, going into a trade. You could be doing something that actually is paying you money. So there is an opportunity cost here. It isn't something like you've just got all this free time. You wanna do what you can at this early point to invest and to spend money. And so, I didn't, you know, this is the elephant in the room, student loan debt. More than 50% of American students have $25,000 or more in student loan debt when they graduate. This fluctuates around from different states, depends on the individual. I know people who have gone on to grad school who have got multiple degrees, yet have over $200,000 in student loan debt, and they're getting jobs that are starting in the $30,000, $40,000 range. How are you gonna be able, I mean, let's just do the numbers. How are you gonna be able to pay back those loans. So understand that student loan debt isn't something that you can even get rid of. You can go into bankruptcy and that will follow you around. Be very careful. Make sure that you measure out you're going to get a return on your investment and really hold their feet to the fire because the promise that there's going to be a great job waiting for you or that everyone with college is going to make more money, that that promise is not it's not necessarily true in the current time frame we're in. Reason number three, I think college is overrated is that relatively speaking, information is inexpensive. It depends on how you wanna consume the information as to how much it's really going to cost. So let's say you go to a top school, Ivy League, you've got a great professor, you're in a small classroom environment. In that case, yeah, you're gonna pay out the nose for that education because you've got extra benefits. That professor is, he curated the information, he's spoon feeding it to you, and if you have questions, you can ask him and ask him to elaborate, maybe have one-on-one -on -one office hours, whatever it may be, you've got access to you know, supposedly some of the best you know, teachers and information in the world. But the information itself is 
inexpensive because you could get that same book which you're reading in that class for free at the library. Just check it out. Or if you're a busy guy, let's say Antonio, I ain't got time for that. I commute, I travel, I'm spending a lot of time in my vehicle. Well, go check out Audible. Guys, this is going to be the easiest promotion I've ever done. Audible.com slash style. I've been an Audible customer for 12 years. I've downloaded over 200 of their eBooks. Since 2004, I have been a huge fan. So when they approached me and I got to create this video and have a little bit of fun, talk about something I'm passionate about, but also to support a company who I have, I have their app on my phone. I'm downloading. Guys, when you go to the page, I'm going to link to right over here. You can basically, it's a 30 day trial and you can download your first ebook free. I've got books like Scaling Up, which have helped me become a better entrepreneur. On Writing by Stephen King, one of my favorite books out there. He taught me how to be a better writer. That's why I've been able to push out almost 2,000 articles over at Real Men Real Style. Information itself is relatively inexpensive. What the key is, is that you take it and that you use it. And if you are the kind of person that, yes, you have to go to university to be able to consume that information, then maybe it's a smart route. But if you're just defaulting to that, understand the information can be consumed in various ways and you're going to pay for the way you consume it. Reason number four, I think college is overrated is there are no guarantees. I take that back. There is a guarantee you're going to get a bill. They're going to send you a bill for, for going to school. Most likely, many of you guys are going to have student loan debt and you're going to be guaranteed. You're going to have to find a way to pay that off. So yes, there is a guarantee that you will owe money. However, when it comes to a job, when it comes to success, when it comes to happiness, no guarantee there. Don't fall into this implied guarantee that if you get a degree, you are going to for sure see success. That may have been statistically more accurate 20, 30 years ago. Nowadays, I would say that, you know, ah, it's, it's going to be a, it's a hard bet and you really need to make the right decision for you. Reason number five is that it sells itself as a place where a man can find himself. Guys, this is, this is a bunch of BS and I'll tell you two reasons why. Number one, if you're trying to find yourself at college by taking various classes, understand these classes are not reality. College is not the real world. It's a protected environment in which it's not even a reflection of the career path. So let's say you want to be an English teacher. Understand that teaching classes, that English classes, that's not a reflection of what you'll be doing after you graduate. So if you don't like that English class, that doesn't mean you shouldn't be an English teacher or an English professor. It just simply means you don't like that English class. The second reason is that this is very expensive. Every class you're taking at a top level school, we're talking thousands of dollars that this class is costing. Perhaps you're at a junior college, so maybe it's only costing hundreds. The point is you could actually, if you really want to get a taste, why don't you possibly look to do an internship? Why don't you shadow someone who's doing the profession that you want to do? That is going to be a much better path, a much better way. It, a man does not find himself in college. A man builds himself as he picks up skill sets, as he goes out there and he tries different things, as he has different experiences. So understand that college is not a place where you're just going to discover who you are. I know uh, I hit a lot of points in this video. This is something I'm kind of emotional about and I think it's uh, we live in a society in which everyone is saying you got to go to college to have success. Again, I've read the studies, I've seen the research. I wanted to take a little bit of an opposite opinion and I'm not going to put down. I think college for many people is the perfect choice. But if you're not getting a full ride, if you're going to come out with a lot of debt, if you don't know what you want to do, let's just say my undergrad. Looking back, I can't say I got any return on investment. I definitely didn't learn too much and I spent a lot of time partying and I probably could have spent that money, you know, especially because I'm still paying on some of those student loans. I could have taken that and yeah, I could have done something else. Guys, again, let me know what you think in the comments and go check out Audible. I'm going to link to them again right over here. Great company. I have been a customer for 12 years, downloaded over 200 of their books. That's it, guys. I'll see you in the next video.